Breast cancer treatments are known as cut, burn, and poison, or surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. Some are considered barbaric with the removal of healthy breasts in the hope of prevention. How about some common sense prevention and natural treatments? I'll explain a little bit more in a minute. I'm Dr. David Dahlman for drdahlman.com. Breast cancer is a horrible diagnosis. Survival rates have improved, but too many women still die from it. In some cases, the cause is unknown, and in others, the woman has the breast cancer gene. And so they think that explains why. It does, but it also doesn't. When a woman has the damaged BRCA1 gene, they have an 85% chance of getting breast cancer by the age of 70. But not all with that gene do. Why not? Cancer is considered an abnormal overgrowth of cells, usually controlled by our immune system. Is it possible the women with the BRCA1 gene who do not get breast cancer have stronger immune systems? And if so, why? Is it possible things in your lifestyle can flip that gene switch on and allow the cancer to occur? Is it possible you can have the BRCA1 gene, but it never gets flipped on and you don't get the cancer? I believe that to be true, so if you have breast cancer, immune system enhancement should be part of your treatment plan. If you are trying to prevent cancer, immune system enhancement should also be part of your plan. Proper diet and a daily regimen of dietary supplements with a wide variety of nutrients help to provide our immune system the building blocks to create that strong immune system. Avoidance of any toxic exposures are also key to not degrading the immune system. Fresh whole foods is the place to start. Stay away from fast foods and processed foods. Eat good oils and fats, no hydrogenation. Sugar, though tasty, needs to be restricted. Eat organic if possible and stay away from chemicals, preservatives, additives, and colorings in your food. And no artificial sweeteners. Toxic exposures are a bit harder to understand, find, and avoid. Think chemicals in your food, personal products, household chemicals, garden pesticides, and chemicals and toxins in the workplace. Do you smoke? Are you on a number of medications that can have a toxic effect on you? Additionally, the birth control pill is also a high risk factor. Avoid the previously mentioned additives in your food. Use deodorants, toothpaste, creams, moisturizers that are free from chemicals. Do you spray your house for bugs? your garden for pests, your lawn for weeds, and do you come into contact with them or breathe them in? Does your workplace manufacture something that you can smell and you breathe that in every day? That's just a small sample of the type of toxic exposure you may come into contact with. The bottom line is to eat a clean diet, take a regimen of dietary supplements and avoid these chemical contacts and more so you do nothing to reduce the effectiveness of your immune system. If you've been diagnosed with breast cancer, have a natural thinking doctor design a supplement plan aggressive enough to help you overcome your condition. If you are interested in prevention, please see my wellness program recommendations by clicking on vitamins on the left side of drdahlman.com and then reading the article that I call Vitamins for You. And feel free to call me with any questions about a supplement protocol for prevention or to help you with your fight against breast cancer. Make sure you use alternative medicine as a complement to your traditional medical treatment plan. This is Dr. David Dahlman for drdahlman.com. To read more information and view additional videos about natural therapies for many chronic health conditions, please visit drdahlman.com.